I am originally from Los Angeles, born and raised here. I enjoy a lot of outdoor activities, visiting my son who lives away at college now. I have a business and I enjoy getting together with friends. And I have stage four metastatic melanoma. When I was first diagnosed, it had already metastasized into my lymph node in my neck. I had a radical neck dissection and 72 lymph nodes were removed. When I was first diagnosed and we were discussing what type of systemic treatments to do, the doctors were telling me that it would not change my life expectancy, but that it might prolong the amount of time for a reoccurrence when a tumor would come back. And I said, wait a minute, what are you talking about life expectancy? What's my life expectancy? And I was told that 50% of the people would die from this within five years. I tried everything I could not to be in that 50%. After I did interferon for 10 months, it turned out that it didn't work. A year later, when it came back as a brain tumor, then it became stage four. When I was first diagnosed, the first thing that came to my mind was, I want to make memories with my son. I wanted to go on vacation, and I really couldn't. I was too sick. I knew that I wanted to do something with a clinical trial because the regular drugs that were out there were very toxic and not effective. Jamie came to us when we were starting this phase one trial of combining PVEC with pembrolizumab. And she had these big masses in the neck that were really obvious. And we thought that it would benefit from the start to have a combined therapy. One of the drugs I get is Keytruda. That's the one that is given in the infusion center. What the Keytruda drug does is that it releases the brakes. And so it will allow my T cells to do what it's supposed to do. At the same time, I'm getting the other drug, which is TVEC, which is a deactivated herpes virus. So by injecting the virus directly into the tumor, my immune system is awakened and it knows exactly where to go. So the combination of the two is what's been working for me. One day I went in and there was nothing large enough to inject. To have to stop injecting because we don't see melanoma, it's a good thing. We were all happy. We were all very, very happy. I still go in for the infusions every other week and will continue to do that. The TVEC had side effects, fever, joint pain, neuropathy in my feet, fatigue, but they were all manageable and I could live a life and do things and enjoy myself. Immunotherapy adjusts your immune system so that it knows how to fight the cancer off on its own. We've been in a steep curve of learning and applying treatments to patients. That comes from a big investment in the scientific community over the last 20 to 30 years. The Cancer Research Institute has been focused on funding cancer immunotherapy research, but also organizing a network of clinical trials in this field. And that's where we're designing these new combination studies that we're trying to get to the next step. Friends of mine often ask me if I'm cancer free because I've told them the results of what's been going on with the trial and I'm not cancer free, but I'm doing great. I'm living with the disease and I think it's a new way to look at this. A year ago, I was in survival mode and now I'm looking forward to a future. When I was on this trial, I was able to travel and we went to Europe for two weeks. Just this last weekend, my son and I went to San Francisco and we rode across the Golden Gate Bridge. It means a lot to me to be able to travel with him and to share time and to make more memories. Being in a clinical trial has saved my life. To the people who are helping with this research, I say thank you. It has certainly been a life changer for me and I appreciate all the work that you're doing on a personal level and for the, the betterment of cancer research.